competitions like that? Your competition today? My competition? Yeah. Oh. Slow start, and then you seem to get some rhythm later on. Yeah, I felt like, you know, like in practice, uh, my coach and I have kind of been working on progressing in practice, starting, if you start practice on a bad note, end it on a better one. So. I think I did that. Um, unfortunately, I didn't improve enough. So I went from like a C minus to about a C plus, B minus. So unfortunately, not today. I'm going to the Olympics and I'm elated about that, but this stings a little bit. So. You have mixed emotions right now. Exactly. You know, when for me to be upset, I mean, for the girls who aren't going, it's just wrong. So yeah, I mean, it just personal goals. It's you know. I, I knew I was on the team, you know, pretty much, and so I just had other goals today, and unfortunately, didn't get them, so. Do you think that affected your competition, the fact that you knew that you were going to make the Olympic team, no matter how you did today? Um, maybe a little bit, but to be honest, I just, I think I, you know, I wanted it so much, um, you know, but what can you do? Um, I made the Olympic team. It's a dream of mine, and I'm really happy about that. So, how were the conditions after wind was? Um, we had a pretty strong headwind. So I got up at one point, and it was pretty strong. So I waited a second. But I mean, that's Hayward, and that's you know, wind is wind. You can't blame anything on conditions because I mean, look at what the guys threw in. Look what people have been running in all week. So, um, yeah, it was windy, but there were other people threw well. So I'm not going to blame it on that. <laughs> um, how does it compare? Uh, it's a little, a little reverse, I guess. Um, I didn't come through and you know get on the podium, but I am on the team. So uh, I guess actually maybe the same. I'm still upset on how I did, but thrilled I made the team last time. I was thrilled with how I did. Didn't make the team. So just trying to look forward and. I know I've been having great practices, so that's another frustrating thing, not being able to translate from practice to the meet. Any but anxiousness that Borman got the big throw in Hamilton? A little. I mean, I was pissed at myself. You know, I had no more throws, so Kim gets up, and she has one more, and, I mean, if she gets it, I'm, I'm out, so a little bit. <laughs> but, you know, she did awesome. Still happy to be going with three instead of two? Sorry, what? Happy to be going oh, of course, of course. Br Brittany making it, that's awesome. That is a huge throw for her, and to come through on the last one, that's, oh, I was trying to do that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, awesome for her. But historically, you had slower starts, and then you improved mm -hmm. as the season goes on. This year, you started throwing over 200, you mm -hmm. were 196.5, mm -hmm. and then this month, you've struggled with it. Yeah. Um, I think that maybe. Um, probably just training a little bit and also at the beginning of the year I spend a lot of time in Georgia with my coach um, and I I had a session with him uh, when he was in town for the hammer throw other than that I haven't really seen him in a while so maybe that maybe just you know you can't always explain the things and unfortunately it's you know not worked in my favor so far but you know going to the Olympics I have I guess a month or so to train and get my body back to where I need it to be strength wise and yeah. So you can be able to train with your coach with uh coach back? Um I'm sure we're gonna figure something out. I mean it's always kind of last minute figuring he's always really busy too, so but I know he'll be coming to the Olympics so um, I'll be able to train with him right before. Does it rattle confidence at all going into London, or are you still just past you? Oh, well, I'm going to pout for a while, <laughs> and then I'll put it past me. And I think, you know, my advice to anybody who, I mean, Haley coming into this, she did amazing, but you have to take something from all of these experiences, and it's just another learning experience, so yeah. Do you use it as motivation to know, you know, you can do and you have to do this, you know, long as you can yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I am fully aware of what I'm capable of. I've seen it in practice. I, I know I have potential to throw far. Putting it together is another thing, and that is just something that takes growth and it takes experience and it takes these really terrible experience. I mean, I shouldn't say that. These experiences where you don't achieve your goals to move forward and, um, 
you know, grow as a person, as an athlete, as a competitor. So. Any thoughts on specific training coming out of this one? Uh, things you immediately know you want to do? I think I need to get a little stronger. We've had, um, I've had a easy couple of weeks just coming in. Um, so I need to get back in the weight room for sure and just kind of regain a little strength, regain a little confidence and put this behind me. And yeah. Good. Yeah.